guys and welcome to today's video my name is david and guys today i'm going to be showing you guys some um some type of soccer tricks that you can use during a soccer match or or and also some trainings and also some training tips okay guys so let's move on to to the first thing i'm going to be showing you which is the tricks Okay, so um, this is the ball I'm gonna be training. You can um, you can use any type of ball. This is the ball that I um, I'm used to using, so I'm just gonna be using this ball for today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys some um, types of skills that you can be using with this one ball. This is the only ball that I have. I actually have more, but I'm not gonna be using them because they're really heavy. So I'm gonna be using this one. Okay, let's go ahead. Try some training tips. Not training, sorry, skills. And um, these are going to be one of the first type of tricks I'm going to be showing you guys. I know you guys cannot see me because of the camera. Sorry guys, can you sound like my brother comes just so you guys know? It's not okay? So I have the ball. I'm going to put it down. Okay. Okay, so something I want you guys to do is um we're gonna practice the, this trick. Okay, so we're gonna show you this trick. I don't even know what this trick is called, but I'm just gonna show you guys. Okay, okay so what you do for this trick? Wait, let's see if you guys can see the Okay, I, 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 luckily you guys need my hands for this, so you guys can see it. So first of all, you go like this to the ball, then like this, then like that, then like that. So like you go over. Let's see. Yeah. So you guys can see it. Okay, so that's the first trick. I do not know what it's called, so you guys should just see this video. Oh, let's see. So you just go over the ball with your legs. And when you go fast, it should look like this. Oh my god. Okay, I always I almost fell, but I was look I was lucky to keep my balance. Okay, so first trick with the ball, that's what that does. Okay, let me get close because that's just a shadow. <laughs> so what's good about that? Okay. Sorry guys, I almost fell, so I'm gonna keep my breaths. Okay, so the good thing about this is it tricks. It's like they think that, oh yeah, you're gonna go right and left and right and left. And then you suddenly trick them. Like you go over, excuse me. And then you go over the ball with um, one of your legs and then and then you gotta use your other leg. Then you gotta use the side. Then, then you're gonna be able to control the ball, and then they're gonna be going the other way, thinking that you're gonna be going there. Okay? Let's move on to the next trick. Okay, so the next trick basically comes in really easy. Um, it's actually a trick that's really easy. It's, a, it's actually really easy. Like a hell cut. So what do you do? You just go like this. Okay, it, I think I'm gonna call it the cross, the cross leg trick with the ball, the, tri the cross leg ball. I don't know what to say. Okay, so you just go like, cause like you go with your feet like this, step on the ground, and then it looks like you're dancing in the '80s, in like the 1980s. So here's there it is. Okay. Okay, that was the trick. Let's wait for the ball to magically come up and appear on my hands right now. Okay, well, that was the trick. Um, let's move on to the next trick, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Which is going to be the, um, going to be a really interesting trick here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing another trick, which, um, I don't know, I have so much tricks in my mind right now, but I don't know which one to use. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so 
Okay. Okay, so what you do is uh, go here. Run up. Get this. <laughs> you get the ball, which is over there. Clearly, you get the ball, and then you rotate around it, touching it with your foot. Then it comes to you, okay? Okay, now, I think that was a better explanation. Let's move on to the training tips. Okay, now we're moving on to the training tips, ladies and gentlemen, girls. This is actually a really easy one. We're gonna be, we have a couple balls there. Here they are. Okay, that's my go, 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 go. Yeah, not yet, Larson. Oh, I just, he just ruined the surprise for you guys. Okay, so clearly this, we're gonna go over there and then we're gonna keep zigzagging. So it's called the zigzagging technique. You can do this with anything. You need to stand up so I Shh, can More so. Um, you need to, you can use it with a ball. I mean, <laughs> with balls. You can use it with toys. You can do anything to do that zigzag pattern. Also, Marcin, can you please help shot? Okay, let's move on. Here it is. Just so you guys know, I think they have to stay one inch away from each other. So I can't really guess. Oh, this is gonna be even harder since they're really close to each other, right, Marcin? I did it! <laughs> okay, I did it. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Now it's the real route. So what you do is you just let it go like this. Like that. Anybody listen? Like a hell cut. Outside of your right foot. Then left foot. Then the right foot. Then we turn. Then the left foot. Right outside, and then left outside, right outside, then left outside, then you just shoot. So that's how you do it. Here's another way of doing it as well. Who needs the ball? When you can do this. Oh, that's easy. Can I try easy. To do it? Marson. Marson's turn now. Like, can I just do like this? You got a zigzag, yes. Do it already. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. No, it's okay. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so um, ladies and boys and girls, it's clearly 9.40 a.m. so my brother's upstairs eating some breakfast, but I'm still gonna continue with my training tips. Here you are. Four balls, I believe one, about two centimeters away from each other. Just so you guys know, you cannot see me from the shadows, but it's okay, who cares? As you can see, four balls right now, clearly in there. What I recommend you to do with these balls is to just kick them, you know? As strong as possible, but according to since my mom is clearly upstairs um, napping, we're gonna do it as quiet as possible. But I recommend you to try and kick the, bo the ball as hard as possible. This will increase your shooting technique, which is a really good training ability, so let's go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. The pause effects, my effects are gonna be used. Um, so you know, I am a soccer player, that, I mean, I'm not a professional, but I'm just a soccer player, so just so you know, I'm gonna be teaching you the ways of how to shoot a ball, okay? First of all, you can see me as good, or you better, I'll just do it here. You gotta go like this, like you're, you're completely going, but this, let me just show you this. 
This foot will help the ball go in the right direction. And then you gotta swing the arms like this. As you can see, there's a little jump added. That's because that's how you shoot. Okay, so here it is again. Oh, sorry. I messed it up. Okay. Good. Well, let's move on to the ball. Okay. First ball. First ball. I don't think you guys can see. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's a good way to train yourself like that. Because if you train yourself, it's a good way to train yourself. Okay. Um let's see what's gonna be the other one. Oh yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, okay guys, so we just took the thumbnail picture. <laughs> okay guys, so let's continue. So this is gonna be used. It's a heading technique. This is what I would recommend to do. Okay, just keep doing that. Increases your head ability, your heading technique. For soccer, it's a really good technique. Warms you up more around your head. It has a few both head concussions, so I recommend you to use a softball, then go with a hardball, then super hardball, then regular soccer ball. Okay, so here it is again. Okay, that was actually really soft, so... Okay, let's see. Now, this is gonna be the last ever... This is gonna be the last training tip I'm gonna be showing you guys today. And then we're gonna end the video here, okay? So here it is. Well, we have the ball. And I'm gonna be showing you guys a passing technique, which this increases your pass and your sight ability. Whatever. So you put your first foot there. After, you put this foot, oh, your right foot. I'm a lefty, so you can do this both ways. So your left foot and then you shoot your right foot. Or your right foot and then you shoot your left foot. I'm a lefty, so I'm a lefty. Okay. You put your foot right next to the ball, not the side of your foot. Put your right foot in your foot, like the entire foot should be in the side. Then, then it should go back and be in the side. Then you go to your feet, and you go to your foot. You guys were able to see it okay so i'm just gonna create it 3d style so it's gonna look like this the ball's gonna be in the middle <laughs> like it's gonna look like this then your other then while this is there okay just imagine that that's your since i can not hold both this is going to be twisted while this is going to be holding it and the good news about this is um this will um make the ball go in the right in the direction you want it to so it's gonna look like that. That one is gonna block it from going any other direction. And you will shoot with this one. <clears throat> okay? Okay guys, so I want this ball to be calm away. Since we're officially done with the ball. So everybody, say your last goodbyes to the ball. This ball is about to disappear. Right Goodbye ball! Now. Whoa! Okay. Oh my god, I'm so crazy. Oh my god, I had no idea I can do that. But guys, we've sadly reached our end, so don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more, and comment down below if you guys want more videos of these um, training tips and um, skills or tricks of, of soccer. So guys, goodbye.